the bracket the set. Bracket. That means it's standard. The, the reason I'm asking you to do this is unfortunately, we've already gone past these screens. I'm not gonna make you turn the machine off and turn it back on again. It takes too long to boot up, but those screens would have been there. Exchange set, standard filler, close the door. Because we would use a different kind of filler when we do another kind of procedure, mm -hmm. which right we again. will do. Now press, prepare tubing set. Ignore the steps. Open the box after looking at expiration date yep. and the lot number. Very good. Fold this underneath. Take out your band purse. Hold it upright. This one? Yep. Okay. Take out the waste bag. Put it over the right side of the machine. Take the extra remove line with it, the yellow clamp, and put it, set it with the waste bag. Take out the white spikes, the replacement fluid spikes, and put them on the right side of the machine. Oh. Take the AC and saline spikes and put them on the left side of the machine. Hand me, a hand Sharon, that she'll, watch, she'll put it together for us next night. All right, now take out the vent bag and hang it on hook number two from the left. Take out the inlet line, red roller, red clamp. Hang it on the left front hook. Take out the return line, blue roller, blue clamp. Hang it on the left hook with its buddy inlet. They always go together, okay? Because they both come off of the same side of the cassette. Take out the cassette and the channel, I grab the box. Load the cassette into the lower edge of the tray. Push the top two corners. Make sure these are all and out snap it into place. Good. So the, the lower ledge goes first. Tip it into the lower ledge. See that little ledge right there? Get the get the plastics over it on the side. Oh, see the, the see side. the tabs? Okay. Gently push. Snap. Good. Now pretend it misloaded. Show me how to unload it. Mm -hmm. I'll load it up again. Take it all the way out. Don't cheat. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Now get all the tubes pulled straight back because when that tray lowers, you don't want them to get caught and untangle all of them. Look, you're tangled here. Get that all untangled. I am an obsessive compulsive nurse. There, nothing must be tangled. And that's a good practice. I think so, but you know, some people I call them hurricane nurses, tornado <laughs> nurses. You come to the room to do the treatment and my guy can't find anything. All right, now what do we need to do? Notice. Yep, let's set that centrifuge door open and let's raise the filler latch. That's the toilet seat. And then find the loading port, the hole in the centrifuge. <clears throat> I'm going to come from the bottom to the top. So this is like putting the baby back in the mama. Excuse me. So only one hole here. So There's only one hole, hole, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right thing. There's only oh. one birth canal, too. Oh. <laughs> There's only one hole. So... <laughs> If it's, if it's two, you need to reassess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Real yeah. Life. yeah. Okay. Has to be, yeah. Put down the latch. Good. Put it down. All the way down. All right. Now, get that red tube sitting right between the two screws here. Red tube. Oh, this, this one. This one. Yeah, the the collar. Tube. Yeah. Let me just put this right. It'll be easy. Should be between. Between. Exactly. Bring the collar above. You want, whose phone is going up? Please silence it. I forgot to make that announcement earlier. Unless, okay, so unless, that unless that Sharon, are you on call or something? That wasn't mine. No, that was oh. Cecilia was talking about the blood. Okay. Okay, it's not between there. Okay. Look, it has to come out of here, over here. You gotta turn it. Yes. There you go, now push and pull. Push from the top, pull from the bottom. Oh, oh, I don't hear a click yet. Okay, now let's check it to make sure. To check it, here's the easiest thing to do. The red tube is gonna go over here, the yellow's over here. Put them side by side, kissing, 
and pull straight back. Now look, pull away these two little clear ones so you can see what's going on with red and yellow. What do you see? They're side they're by side. side. No, they're not. Let me see. They're overlapping. They're overlapping. Now. Red is sitting on top of yellow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a mistake. Thank you for making that mistake. It's a learning opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. This does not look like Vino's or my load. Mm -hmm. That red one is sitting on top of yellow. That's going to cause an obstruction of flow mm -hmm. that you don't want mm -hmm. to happen. So you're going to push in the pan. You're going to pull up the tubes and turn it one section to the right. All right. So it should be side by side. Push in the pan. Pull them up. And turn it one section toward me. You gotta force it, come on. Now pop it back down in, lock it back in place, and we'll check again. Now you check, do what I did, red, yellow, over here, way over here, put them where they're gonna sit. Don't separate them, put them together, because that's how they're gonna sit, so that you can see what's going on down there. And look, I move the clear tubes out of my way, so I can see the red one and the yellow one. What do you see? They're not side by side. They are or they aren't? They are no. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. Side you see the side. difference? Yeah. Good job. Side it's always nice to have yeah. someone misload yeah. it yeah. as an example. Uh -huh. Because otherwise you don't know what yeah, incorrect that's is. That's okay. What's going to happen again? I, I missed that part. What again? What's going to happen if they're like over? Okay, so here's what happens. And this is why we fuss so much about them being mm -hmm. perfectly side by side. No crossing whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, the centrifuge, when it spins, it gets hot. Mm -hmm. And the tubes expand in the heat. And if one is lying on top of the other and gets right. bigger, it prohibits flow in or out, depending on which tube is on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Okay, so we want them side by side so fluid can free flow through them. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Costco has okay. Does it? I can remember. <laughs> what brand is it? Pocket juice. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me show you an easier way. Okay. Pretend this is a tie and you're going to throw it over your dad's head. So hold it way back here. This is the tie. And just flip it up underneath there. Good. Now pick up the connector and get it, you get it going in first. Sharon, do you know any of these doctors up here that are going to be ordering plasma exchange? That you seem like a typical order set. You know, not not in ten years, but uh, it uh, was it was pretty much the same. You know, one, one or plasma one point five. Yeah. Well, and uh, actually, Mixed. they would they would say, "Hey, call me when you have the hemoglo or hematocrit entered, uh -huh. so we'll uh, know what to do." One point one, because some of them would go, um, they only wanted just exactly, you know, no. No gathering up of what you've already given. Okay. You know, the, I don't get that. Sorry. Oh, okay. Up so what you've already if, given. If, if if you do one plasma exchange, you've exchanged mm -hmm. all their plasma. Right. One time. So if you do one point one, uh, you're exchanging yeah. some that you've already, you know, some new stuff. There's always that happening. Yeah. Because you don't have two compartments in your body. Right. One that says dirty plasma. And uh, one that says, says clean. clean. And I was going to ask you, how do yeah. they? How do uh, you know? I will get there. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Under, come underneath. There you go. And then when you've got it all around, make sure you're pushing it all the way in the groove so it sits way down in the bottom of the groove. You don't want any, all of this needs to be protected. When this spins, if it's unprotected, it breaks. And then it gives, that's another cause of a blood leak, okay? Now you've got lower bearing down here, lower bearing in the groove where the neck, then the mesh sleeve goes nice and straight or relaxed, and then load upper bearing. Just want to make sure it's in the view. And then hold it with your left hand and load this one. Come underneath. You gotta shove it all the way underneath. It's not fun. And then just pull it up. Good. Now give it a big spin with your right hand. Are you right handed? This is really here? Yeah, it's in. All you, oh, look up. All you did was slide it in there. See, it oh, doesn't okay. go any further, so it's in. All right. All right okay. Take it with your right hand and spin it hard as you can. Oh, come on, Wim. <laughs> I've never just, seen just less hard. Ah, yeah, there you go. Ding, 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 ding. There you go. Now, we're going to let it come to a stop. You're going to step aside, and Vino is going to do your second check. This is how we're going to do it. I'll let you do it as well, but I want to see you do a complete second check for him. But when you're out in the field, and if, you, if somebody else is with you, you've got someone to do this for you. If not, it's on you to do your own second mm -hmm. check. Yeah. But you will have for quite mm -hmm. a while. You know? Okay, so let's go ahead and do a second check. Show me what you do. So make sure this one You don't pull it out. Yeah, you pull sure it up. This... 
Yeah. This one is properly in upper place. Upper collar. This upper one bearing. is on the crease. Mesh sleeve. And this one, and no. Lower bearing. No twisting. No twisting. Now, three more things. What are they? What is it? You have three more things to check. What are they? Uh, this one. Yeah, the push creases. it down. Push the channel flush with the, the filler. Then two more. Make sure it's side by side. Yep, and then? And then a connector. The locking pin. Where's the locking pin? Oh, this one. Is you, it out? The mark. Yeah, All the right, mark at the locking pin. All right, now you come and do it. Roger, same thing. You uh, gave it a spin already, right? I already right, So all, all you have to do then is check it. You don't have to re-spin it. Pull up gently on the upper collar. Check. Upper it's bearing. There. Mesh sleeve. Lower bearing. It's there. Three more things. And then this one. Channel so flush with there. filler. Okay. Oh my God, there's the chemical again. Okay, and then, then two more. This one. The pin is out. You the see the mark? Out. And where are that red and yellow too? Oh my God, that smells about it. They are side by side. Side by side. Close the door. Excellent job. Thank you for that magic light. <laughs> I should buy one and just carry it with me. I had a little teeny tiny one, but it died. Read number one.